Hi everyone. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you so much for the support. Thanks for the likes, for the subscribes, for the shares. It has been an amazing response. With that being said, let's start with lesson number one. Lesson number one will be regarding the theorem of Pythagoras and this will be for grade 8 and 9. Right. So, the theorem of Pythagoras has or it's to do with a right angle triangle. This little square block over here, that suggests that my triangle is a right angle triangle. And opposite my right angle triangle would be the hypotenuse of my triangle. In other words, this hypotenuse is the longest side of my triangle. So the theorem of Pythagoras states that the sum of the two shorter sides would be equal to the longest side. What does sum mean? Added. In other words, whatever x is squared plus whatever y is squared and that will be equal to your h squared. Now let's put some digits in there. If I, for example, were to say x is 3, y is 4, we need to calculate h. The first thing we do is we write down our formula. I said x squared plus y squared is equal to my longest side and that is my hypotenuse. So from there I substitute. What's the value of x? 3. Do not forget to square it. What's the value of y? 4. Do not forget to square it and that will be equal to h squared. So 3 squared. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Plus 4 squared, 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 and that is equal to h squared. 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. Now, I need to calculate h over there, meaning I need to get rid of this square over there. When I get rid of something in mathematics, I use the inverse operation. And the inverse operation of a square is a square root. And what I do on my right hand side, I need to do on my left hand side. So the square root cancels out the square. What am I left with? H. And what's the square root of 25? 5. And therefore, because of my calculation, I find that H should be equal to 5. Right. Okay, on to example number 2. In this diagram, I have two triangles. The first is a right angle. In other words, I need to calculate the value of A. And the second one also is a right angle triangle. Notice that in the second triangle, I'm sitting with two unknowns. So in order to calculate H over here, I first need to calculate the value of A, which is my hypotenuse of my first triangle. Right. Firstly, I write down my formula, then I substitute. So the bottom, I would say, is x, so that is 9 squared. The value of y is 12 squared. And that would be equal to h. But remember, not this h, the h, which would be my hypotenuse of my first triangle, also known as the value of a. Right. So instead of h, I'm going to write a squared because a is the value I am calculating. 9 squared is equal to 81 plus 12 squared is 144 and that is equal to a squared. 81 plus 144 is going to be equal to, let's just work it out on the side, 144 plus 81, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 8 is 12, carry the 1, be equal to 225. Right. Am I calculating A or A squared? I'm calculating A, meaning I need to get rid of this square over there. And by getting rid of that, I use the inverse operation of a square, and that is the square root. What I do on my right hand side, I need to do on my left hand side. So the square root of 225 is equal to 15. So I substitute my value, okay, A is equal to 15. Now notice this triangle over here now has the value of A, meaning I only need one more value and I substitute.
Okay, what's the value of x over there? It is 15 squared. What's the value of 20? Or y would be 20 squared, and that is equal to h squared. 15 squared is 15 multiplied by 50, which is equal to 225, plus 20 multiplied by 20 is equal to 400, and that is equal to h squared. 225 plus 400 would be equal to 625, and the square root of 625 would be equal to it would be equal to 25. Therefore, the value of h over here is equal to 25. So, in a nutshell, what does Pythagoras mean? It means the two shorter sides squared would be equal to the longer side, which is my hypotenuse. With that being said, lesson number one is done. Please stay tuned. You can share my video. You can comment. You can like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel which is GA Online Teaching, and also all my videos will be absolutely for free, as well as one can download them for free. Thank you very much. Until next time.